we're here at Rolls-Royce today to spin test the wheels to 10,500 RPM. That's the speed that they'll be doing on the car when we run the car in the desert. Um, the reason why we do that is we want to check that any wheel growth or temperature increase or any vibration on the wheel is okay so that when we put it on the car it's safe to run. Obviously at Rolls-Royce we're a very big corporation and a lot of the stuff that comes through is quite similar to previous stuff that we've done whereas something like Bloodhound is very fast paced, very new project, doing something that's never been done before so it's been very very exciting to work with them. This, this facility is uh, used uh, normally to test fan blades uh, uh, on the, for the experimental side. We've never tested uh, anything like this before and um, we're, we're going to be going to uh, the highest RPM in the facility it's ever been before. Rotating. Start clock. There's enough friction just with the air on the wheel for the wheel to get hotter. So as well as getting bigger because you're spinning it fast, it also gets bigger because it's getting hot. And what we're looking for is explainable behaviour from both those inputs so that we can sign off that the wheel's behaving the same in the physical world as it did on Roland's machine in the theoretical world and also that the manufacturing means that you can spin it to this speed and it doesn't come apart. So it's a double check. So because the test proved that the behaviour of the, wheel, of the wheel was exactly in line with what we expected, big tick, it's been designed correctly, stressed correctly, manufactured correctly. Now in just over a year's time, bolted through to this rear suspension sub-assembly will be that desert wheel and we can crack on now, build the rest of a set of wheels and be ready for operations next year.